Hi everyone, it's Anne. This is a pretty lady who is getting ready for her wedding day. She is the first portrait that I've done since mid-December. So there were a lot of steps before this and I figured I would start here. And if the groom saw her, he might change his mind at this point because she is going all out. Uh, all her facials and now she's starting her makeup so here I'm using pan pastels with a q-tip I switch back and forth between pan pastels and chalk pastels and even crayons So here I'm using red acrylic paint for her lips after the paste dried. Now going over that with brown, adding the brown to her eyes, bringing her to life. More brown to the upper lip. Some soft crayons in blue for her eyeshadow, some more of the gold pan pastels all over her face. She looks like she has jaundice at this point. Black pan pastel to her eyes. Black pan pastel on her lips, making her a little vintage. Contouring all around her nose, under her jaw, with the black pan pastel using a Q-tip, giving her raccoon eyes, contouring with the black pan pastel. It's not easy being beautiful. Cleaning it up. Now with a pencil, defining her eyebrows. And now, giving her her veil for her big day. This is joint compound that I'm using with floral stencils and a palette knife so that's the first flower in her hair and now adding a large area almost like a bouquet trying to be as neat as possible I didn't use masking tape on this one because I knew I was gonna want broad coverage versus the other one which was just one single flower dried it really well until it was white adding some black ink with an ink roller and some brown acrylic paint just trying to get a little bit of depth I'm not exactly doing a hairdo hairstyle per se it gets covered it's not about the hair it's about the veil but I need to have some wisps of hair so here I'm adding more flowers which going over those dark areas giving giving them depth because we also have the black and the blue background which was black acrylic paint and I went over it with blue like a teal blue um, pan pastel and so that's the top part is complete and now with the palette knife I'm scraping on the um, joint compound 
just free form, scraping it all around the flowers. And I go all the way down over her shoulders, the way a veil would. A little bit more because it's draping over her shoulders to the front a little bit in her hair covering most of her hair but we have the dark peeking through so you know her hair is there Just a few more areas and then I'm going to use a stencil again and add some flowers to the front which is a little bit of her wedding dress showing. So the lace on the top of her wedding dress to match her veil. And then I dried it really well until it was bone dry. And then with Jane Davenport's palette pastels, adding some plums to her eyes keep match it matches her lips a little bit of pink to her cheeks and so not adding any color of course to her wedding dress or her veil but I'm going into maybe maybe a half of it or less with a charcoal gray pan pastel for some depth especially around her face so adding it around the frame of her face her jaw the flowers at the top very tedious. I didn't want to use a big sponge because I would have probably gotten it on her face or her neck or on the blue areas. And I didn't want to do that. I like the way that blue came out. I think it was like a um, turquoise, but when I went over the black, it's like a dark teal. I think it goes great with the, the white and the gray. Lace work is very tedious. I could have cut this out, but maybe, maybe you want to know how to do this. So I'm leaving the footage. This was actually two and a half hours of footage that I got down to a little more than 10 minutes. So here, I'm just adding the gray pan pastel to a few flowers at the top. I mean, I definitely couldn't ignore that one flower in the center of her forehead. position so perfectly and then a little bit to this one flower 
You could see a lot of her forehead through it. And it is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. If you have any questions about my process or materials, refer to the clip after this message or leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because I upload regularly. Until the next video, take care. I'll see you soon.